What's up everyone? I'm Weber and I recently had a request to do a tutorial on how to get to Moho and back. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is start out with something that's called a home and transfer. See, we have our solar system here with Kerbal and Moho and Kerbin orbiting around it. Now basically we're going to leave Kerbin at such a speed that we will reach Moho at the opposite side of where we left Kerbal from. That's called the Hellman transfer. Now it takes about 3000 meters per second delta V to get from Kerbin to Moho and about 3500 meters per second to stop. If you're going to be performing a plane change, you wanna add about two to 3000 meters per second delta V to the transfer. Now you can do this, as I explained in my video, a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient if you don't perform the plane change, but you do have to leave at the right time of year. Now these values are really only for getting to Moho. You can use the Hellman transfer to get to other planets, but it's going to be other values of delta V. Getting back takes the exact same amount of delta V as it took to get to Moho. The only difference is we don't have to use our rockets to slow down around Kerbin, since Kerbin has an atmosphere, and we can perform aerobraking to do that. The big question is, why would we have two separate ships, one for a transfer and one for a lander? It all comes down to weight. By looking at our Hellman transfer values, we can see that we need about 14,000 meters per second delta V to get to Moho and back to Kerbin. That's two nuclear engines, five orange fuel tanks, and one capsule for the crew to travel in. And that leaves us with only about 0.05 in our thrust to weight ratio, which is slow, but we can use the Oberth effect to make things more efficient as we're leaving Kerbin. Once we get out, we have no problem just leaving it there burning. In order to get the same delta V out of a ship that's lander is roughly the weight of two fuel tanks, we need twice as many tanks in order to transfer it. That is only using the two nuclear engines. That makes our thrust to weight ratio stupidly low and it would probably blow up on the launch pad. The solution is to build two ships, one that's going to go to Moho and back carrying our crew, and a second that's going to be abandoned around Moho forever. With the crew vessel, two of the tanks are going to be dedicated to getting to Moho, three of the tanks are going to be dedicated to orbiting around Moho and returning to Kerbin. As explained previously, the amount of delta V needed to get to Moho and the amount of delta V needed to get back to Kerbin from Moho are the same. So our bottom three tanks and two nuclear engines will be used for getting to Moho and stopping. Since our lander isn't going to be returning to Kerbin, it can have the equivalent weight of two orange tanks and a command pod, which is actually a pretty nice lander. So now both ships have an equal thrust to weight ratio. They can pretty easily be orbited off the Kerbal Space Center launch pad. And if you build your rover a little bit lighter, it means we'll have a little more extra fuel around Moho if you're worried about not being able to get back home. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you like the animation or if you'd rather see it in KSP. I'm Weber, and as always, stay entertained.